Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here. I'm here with Teen 75. Hello. And we are back in Doors Tale, picking up right where we left off. Yep. JJ sent a letter. He joined the Merchant Marines, so good for him. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, he, okay. He realized the carny life wasn't for him, so he's he's protecting our country, so, you know, bless <laughs> him. Right? Um, and look at your pal came back. <laughs> hi, Cecil. <laughs> Cecil's fun. Whoa, easy. I know it's been a while. But he miss you. you. Hi, hi, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Tegan's mean. Glad what? You're here. What? It's a private conversation between me and Cecil. Could you please Fine. not be so rude? Fine. So rude. So rude. I'm going upstairs. Oh, <laughs> great. Now I'm sleeping downstairs on top of the sheep. <laughs> Well, at least it's not the floor, and he's soft I, and fluffy. <laughs> I cannot get away from girls being mad at me all the time. Oh, for Pete's sake. I am such the victim. Wow, that's a lot of salt. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? I'm not talking about it in the chest. I'm looking at you, Tegan. Uh, you're, you're jealous of a sheep. I just brought the rest of the salt that we had made up here. Oh, camera trickery. <laughs> You Hollywood types are all the same. Oh, my. You know who wouldn't put up with this this crap? Who? Johnny Redstone. Oh, gosh. Oh, I wonder how he's doing being Nick, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring this up to every episode. Oh, now. gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So. Well. And, and Tegan, in between episodes, so politely said, you know what, Modi? I'll read the step-by-step -step liquid fat one. Well, we and could like, do that, or we could, you know, start the Dwarven Magic line, too. Or do a few more Bobo items. <laughs> or you could read this novel oh. that you wrote. All right, everybody, hold on, wait. Everybody get comfy, get a blanket, get some cocoa. Oh. Snuggle up next to the fire. Because Auntie Tegan is going to read us a bedtime story. Uh, the fat collector will turn all food, including rotten flesh. Stop it. You wake up. What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> do, do we win? What uh, happened? Yeah, your team won. Woo! <laughs> including rotten flesh into liquid fat. Mm. When fed into a fat congealer, it will turn the liquid into fat blobs. And then if we use a wand on it, we can animate them, and then they're from Doctor Who. Never mind. Oh, um, <laughs> how... Filling the blobs are is dependent on the speed of the gear on top of the machine. I'm like Scorsese. Stick to the script, okay? Uh. <laughs> I'm not looking. I'm not looking for improv in this. Fine. You don't see me doing that. I still haven't figured this system out completely. I have gotten very close. The fat collector needs to stay between 100 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius, with 150 to 160 being optimal. If the fat collector is below 100, it will do nothing, but if it's above 200, it will burn all the food and fat up. The best I've done is use a radiator for heat, used combination of obsidian and slime heat cables, and one of each of the heat exchangers connected to the main heat cable line with the redstone cables. <laughs> Why are you getting increasingly <laughs> angrier as you're reading this? I, I hate this one! You still have so much more to read. I pace know. yourself. Take it's it. pace not yourself. the reading. I hate this system. <laughs> Go on. Each exchanger is on a different timer using clocks. It still either gets too hot or too cold eventually. And when the fat collector is running, the heat decreases as well. I, I don't care anymore. Let's do something else. Okay. I just want to make you read some of that. Thank you. Compatibility. Ooh, these yeah. are fun. I like this mod. I know this mod-ish. <laughs> so you, you combine it with the one that I don't know. Yeah. So th let's do this one. Okay. This is where the fun begins. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> the current system I have set up only runs itself and does not have enough steam to use in an advanced steam turbine. But if I added more steam boilers and drills, oh, I guess that was a weird way to weird place to pause. If I added more steam boilers and drills, perhaps I can generate enough to run the turbine to convert the steam uh, to forge energy. Forge energy? I don't yeah, know what that is. There's forge energy now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I could also make a new sustainable power system. 
<laughs> just for the generators. I will need to solve this puzzle. At least my brain won't go to mush here alone in the caves. You're not alone. You're with me. <laughs> um, I'm not much of a help, but you're not alone. I'm just saying. We're just talking okay. semantics. All right. Okay. I know I will need to attach the fluid pipes to the advanced turbine setup. Luckily, there is no right way to connect the parts. That's good for us. Of the advanced generator. I can place them however I want as long as they are connected. I actually like this mod a lot. I've never yeah. used it, obviously, this one. So, The steam from the steam boiler needs to be piped into the fluid intake valve with the fluid tubes. I can use redstone fluid tubes to disconnect the tubes when I don't want to power uh, the advanced, uh, when I don't want to power the advanced turbine. I just need a lever to attach and unattach the tubes from the sustainable power system to use a clock or, use a, pre uh, or use a clock. Yeah. Okay, so basically, now, this is where Tegan got goofy. <laughs> Advanced Generates has its own way of making steam. Yes. But you want us to make it with this lovely contraption. Yes. <laughs> By the way. Because I, I want remember. you to see how it does have compatibility. I, I, I just want to take a moment here, and I'm, I'm going to hit F1, and I want everybody to really drink in this contraption. <laughs> and I want you to take a moment to realize that all of this movement, everything that's going on, all it's doing is making cobble, obsidian, moving water, and making salt. Yes. That's it. Yes. No, no diseases are getting cured. <laughs> Situation in Rwanda has not gotten better. No. But we have obsidian and salt. Yes. Now, how yes. do you make the steam through advanced generators? Are you, are you asking me or is this some sort of weird challenge? Because you kind of <laughs> puffed out your chest there. I think you <laughs> want to fight. Well, don't you need fuel, right? Oh, this is unlimited steam without yes. you. Yes. I see what you did there. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Before you go smacking me around. Like <laughs> because you get all up in my grill <laughs> about Yo, no, it. Dog. Bring it down. <laughs> Bring it down. Like the great poet once said. Tegan, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, gosh. Oh. And all of Tegan and I's <laughs> hip-hop terms come from one music video we saw in 1996. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we have still not figured out. Well, they always say whatever you listen to as a high schooler, you listen to for the rest of your life. So, And it sticks with you. <laughs> so true. <laughs> And it's it's in you know what's you know what's getting rough for me is like there's a lot of bands I listen to kind of like you know teens maybe in their early twenties right uh -huh. that are either still together or have gotten back together yeah and then I get excited and then I look at them and then <laughs> I get sad yeah <laughs> you got to keep in mind you know if I was listening to a band at fifteen they weren't five. No, they weren't they even were probably, 15. They were probably 20, yeah. you know, early to mid 20s. Or older, I mean. I, I'm now, four, <laughs> like, I'll give you, I'm going to give you a quick example. We're going to have a little bit of story time before we get into this. <laughs> okay. growing, up, I, growing up, big fan of a band called the Pixies. Okay. okay. Back, back when it was still called Alternative. Okay. This, this is pre-grunge. Okay. Um. If I'm not mistaken, they broke up in like 1989. <laughs> <laughs> they have since gotten back together. Yeah. And most of them did not age well. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen any pictures of them. Um, but I'm excited because <laughs> next year in 2018, they're playing in Phoenix. You know, I live in Tucson uh, with Weezer. Two bands I have not seen. Mm, which Weezer. Two very, two very important bands around the time I was 17. Uh, I was 17 when the... And that makes me feel old, too. 
Weezer's blue. Now, just hold on a second. I want everybody. To, some of the, some of you kids, I don't know, emote somebody or whatever you guys do with your thumbs on the phone. Do something here because I'm not talking to you during this. I'm, I'm 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 talking to people kind of older. I want you to and, and, and Tegan, I want you to just absorb this for a minute. Okay. You're familiar with the band Weezer. Yes. You're familiar with the, the band Weezer's first album, the Blue Album which had, like, the sweater song, which was kind of their breakout song, right? Right. Uh, Buddy Holly, which the, 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 um, the Happy Days music video uh-huh. was on, and a lot of other hits, right? Yeah. That album came out 23-plus years <sighs> ago. Yep. I distinctly remember buying that album when I was 17 years old. I am 40, right on the precipice of 41. I was in college. <laughs> 20 yeah. three years ago, Tegan. I don't like to hear that. Because <laughs> I don't consider myself to have been, you know, that it's been that long. I don't, I don't, I know, I just refuse. <laughs> I don't like hearing it. I'm going to throw one more at you just to, make, oh. to add on. This is this is the jelly on the peanut butter sandwich. Right. I'm going to get you. ready to jump. Okay. <laughs> I just want to, and, and this is basic math that is hard to hear. You ready? All right. Right now, we are the same distance time-wise from 1997, which to me doesn't feel that long ago, right? Yeah. 1997 doesn't seem that long ago. We are the same distance away from 1997 as we were to 1977 in 1997. Uh, in 1997, seemed like a long time ago. Yeah, Dad. 1997 is the same amount of time. All right, I'm going to jump. Ah! <laughs> Next year, people born in 1997 will legally be able to drink. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, my and I'm gonna, gosh. I'm going I'm to give you one more because I'm, I'm really just trying to make you cry. Um, Why? Here's the, here's the last one. Uh, 2018 is going to be a very special year. 2018, okay. 2018. And the reason it's a special year is when 2018 comes around, every, and I, I'm kind of thinking like on the 1st, like January 1st, everybody who is a minor, or wait, when was it? Yeah, everyone who was a minor was born before 2000, and everyone who is an adult was born after 2000, or the other way, the other way. Okay. Every minor will be born after, after 2000, and every adult will be born prior to 2000. <sighs> My youngest daughter. Why are you being a downer born, on a Monday? <laughs> okay, you kind of answered the question yourself. Oh. My youngest daughter. Not my oldest daughter. My youngest daughter. Uh-huh. Less than four weeks after New Year's will be 18. I will no longer have children. And you know how weird it is to explain to somebody? I have two adults. That makes you sound like a kidnapper. (laughs) If you say I've got two children, oh, cute, do you have pictures? I have two adults. Get out of my house. Yeah. So keep that in mind. All right. So (laughs) what the hell are we doing? Oh, so we, uh, I, okay, I am going to say this. I'm not a fan of having to rebuild all of this every time. Yeah. Now, you were you were kind enough to where it appears that you give us yep. a good chunk of the stuff. Not everything. Or do we have another drill? We're going to have to make another drill. So we got to make No, everything. we have two drills. Oh, okay. We have two steam boilers. We have more steam turbines. Okay. So, Cuz I have... knew it was going to get annoying. Me going down sad memory lane. We have five minutes left to this episode. <laughs> I want to apologize. Okay, everybody who's, who's not. Well, then who, let's make a Bobo item. 
Okay. Anybody who's under the age of 30, all right, come back to us. Pay attention. All right, we're back. Okay. Everybody over the age of 30, um, dry your tears because uh, yeah. I, I have no reason. I have no reason. All right, so we're, we're, doing the, we're going to the last chapter of the book. Yeah, we'll do. There's one that says we already did it because obviously we got the items and it said, oh, you did it. But let's do this one because it's cool. The vacuuming one. Okay, so the one that says we did it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we just need a hopper, a piece of wool, and what did it say? A tube. I've got the tubes. <coughs> oh my God, I'm going to have to read this. Yes, because Heather wants you to read it. <laughs> Mysterious <laughs> journal, chapter, sorting devices. <laughs> Hoy, me is Bobo. Them peoples go on and on about some copper hopper forever. Copper hopper rhymes. Copper hopper, copper hopper, copper hopper. Me no trick with hopper. It. Not, I have no idea what was going on. <laughs> uh, it not copper hopper, though. Uh, me make vacuum hopper. It useful for everything. Getting stuff, flying, hurting cats, everything. Just This proves that Tegan drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Just one funnel, a sheep's coat, and maybe jacket, and a tube. Bobo out. Psst. Place the vacuum hopper down and open it up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got to figure out how, to, how you actually we do this on that pedestal thing, right? Yep. So... All right. Vacuum cleaner is what we're making, right? The no. vac vac. Yeah. Well, basically. <laughs> Well, how do you make it though? It doesn't. We show have me. to throw. You, you not remember, huh? You have to no. throw these three items on this pedestal while we're burning a poisonous potato. Oh yeah, that's right. So I have the wool. Okay. I have a tube, and then we okay. just need a hopper. All right. We also need a poisonous potato. Well, I've got one burning on there, so. Okay. All right. Let me make a hopper real quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we only did one thing on here. You can't yell at me for not remembering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can yell at you. I just did. You shouldn't. Oh, okay. All right, here's the hopper. Here. All here. right, you want me to do it then? Yeah, you do it. Okay. So, right, so one, two, three. Missed. And it missed. Okay, Take two. One, and action. two, three. There we go. All right, now I gotta place it down, open it up. Okay, that's weird. I know. I know. All right. So and now we have another hopper. We got the hopper back. All right, so this takes durability. Mm -hmm. And then I just hold right click. Like you can it's... vacuum up all the cobble that's like in the ground over here, like that's building up. Yeah, I already got that. Okay. Yeah. But but it, you got you gotta be kind of close. Like, I'm standing up here. Oh, no, that got that. Okay. All right. And then, can I, it said I can fly? I don't know how, but <coughs> I've tried. I don't know how, but, you know, I should ask the guy, like, how am I supposed to fly? Or All is right, that just, go. you know, being stupid? Yeah, I don't know. But you can push Cecil around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Push or pull? Pull, sorry. Okay. I don't think there's a reverse. <laughs> Not the, that well, I that... have found. If there was a reverse, then I would be able to. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does it work on you? I don't think so. Damn it. <laughs> All right, here you can look at it so they can see. Okay, so yeah, I mean, if you like have a bunch of you know crops to like, you can do it. <laughs> now the Bobo thing. What mod is that? Crossroads. Okay, so that's part of Crossroads. Okay. Do you see so, I'm so harvesting with it though? <laughs> why are those so many <laughs> potatoes over there? So here I'm like harvesting. Oh, oh, it just, it auto harvests it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then it just throws it behind you. Yeah. 
That is not a Dyson. I will tell you that right now. Because <laughs> as no. you did more pumpkins, I noticed that it was losing suction. Dysons do not lose suction. No. And I, I will fight anybody. It's not even as good as a way. shark. <laughs> I know. Oh, God, we're old. <laughs> we literally just made vacuum cleaner jokes in a Minecraft video for YouTube. Yeah. I think we need to reevaluate a few things. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd have to say so. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> TV got real serious real, real quick. Oh. All right. So let's recap what we learned. <laughs> All right. Tegan doesn't know how to make eatable fat. Uh, I don't like doing it. I know how. She's I just can't little- do it to where you... Can leave it alone. A little bit of a vacuum snob. What? <laughs> Crossroads has weird stuff in it. Yes, it does. <laughs> and Tegan hates Cecil. What? I do not. I think, I think all of those things. And uh, the the pixies make me sad now. Yeah. So. But you know but, who's always been old looking? I mean, Steven Tyler. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mick Jagger. That guy, that, that guy was born 50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, the, uh, but you know what? One of the funny part, and this is where, and, and now I'm rambling here at the end of the video when <laughs> we're already over. This is the part that, that I don't get. Okay, so I can remember in, like, the 80s of, like, bands that were, had been popular for a while, right? So, like... Uh, the Beatles is a bad example, but like, uh, like some of them, you know, like Ozzy Osbourne, Aerosmith, you know, bands that were really big in like the sixties and seventies, like especially uh-huh. the seventies and whatnot. Yeah. And I remember seeing them in the eighties when I was a kid and thinking, wow, those guys look old. Yeah. Um, because especially if you saw like Ozzy, you know, you see pictures of him from like the sixties and stuff like that. And then you even see him pictures of the eighties. You're like, wow, that guy. Okay, I think I did a lot of bad stuff. Really <laughs> quick, right? He did a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, or, or it even works with actors. If I saw, you know, Andy Griffith in the 80s, it's like, wow, that guy got old compared to when, you know, his show was on. Yeah. But now I get really sad, like, when I see, like, Chevy Chase <sighs> or, or Bill Murray. Yeah. Like, oh, Like... You really have to question, like, time when Mike Myers looks old. Yeah. Oh, wow. Great, now I'm sad. This was a depressing episode. I actually rather enjoyed it, so. (laughs) All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. While you're down there, make sure you put in what has happened that you noticed recently that makes you feel sad about your age. Put that down there. (laughs) Uh, if you're watching my view, make sure you go check out Tegan's channel down below. And while you're there, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. If you're watching her view, you want to do the same thing for me, that'd be great. If you want to come hang out on the Patreon server and in the Patreon Discord, where we can all sit around and be like, remember when this was cool? <laughs> remember when? Remember when? <laughs> remember? Remember that guy? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, go become a Patreon. Go check out the link down below. It has all the information on how you can talk to us and chit-chat with us on our Discord and hang out with us on our server. And lastly, if you want to get your very own Minecraft server, and by the way, this never gets old, head over to AMD Game. Use the link down below. Eternally young. Um, use the, uh, the link down below so you know you're coming from our videos. Use a coupon code to save yourself some money. And until the hopefully less depressing episode of Dwarf's Tale... Yeah. Next time, we want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.